Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Mega Box review. This time looking at a brand new Call of Duty set, the Wraith Attack. This is set number DKX54, it has 351 pieces and should retail for around 20 to 30 pounds. This set is made up of the Wraith drone from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, along with two minifigures with Black Ops 3 armour and weaponry, along with a display stand at the back there that has a nice clear display rod for flight poses. This is the first Call of Duty Black Ops 3 set we've had. It has come out only just after when the game releases, so it's quite nice to have an up-to-date product. A lot of the time the Call of Duty sets are quite behind, so they finally got up-to-date here, and they've started off with a fantastic set that we'll go into details with now. So taking a look at the Wraith drone itself, it's an absolutely fantastic build. There's a lot of current attention to detail here in this. You've got some nice smoothed out sections with some nice smooth panels along the whole body and wings. And you also have some fantastic uh, features to this set. Uh, you have the folding gun here. This can move up and down. It also rotates round ever so slightly. Uh, I'll just try and rotate that. There you go. You can see that. These guns are actually the Terminator Genesis guns for the uh, robots in that line. These can also pivot ever so slightly and rotate there. You also have the wings itself. They can also spin round completely freely. As you can see here, they have rockets mounted underneath here. And a little propeller that can rotate round. If I continue around, you have some nice detail. As you can see, the body here is uh, curved. So it goes from having a nice flat surface here, and then it angles the body down. This is accurate to the drone itself in game, so it's great that they've included that. And it's quite ingenious in how they've actually accommodated that into the build itself. Really do like that. And I really do hope we see it on future vehicles. The uh, Hawk, for example, in Halo, that has a curved body like this. So it'd be cool to see that kind of mimicked in the Halo line or any future Call of Duty builds that we see. Absolutely ingenious way of doing it. So I'm really glad that of this build. I'm really loving it. If I rotate it round again, you've got another rotating wing again. You have some nice detail here on the back with some nice exhausts and little vents. Just really nice details to add to the authenticity of the build. I really do like this. No complaints whatsoever in terms of the build itself. However, I do have a little issue with the turret, which I'll go into here. Now, the, the problem with the turret is that it's meant to have this little extra optic sight that clips onto the top of it here. Now, the problem is, is there is very little room for this part to be fitted. If you try to clip the part on, it does actually force the rest of the cannon parts downwards, which is no doubt damaging this whole piece and section here. I am quite disappointed that this was overlooked. I'm not sure how it was overlooked, as anyone who would have tested this surely would have seen that the parts were being forced downwards and so damaging them. This is probably one of the most considerable um, mistakes Mega have done for a while, as it does absolutely damage parts, um, and it's just odd that that's been included. I would, however, point out that Mega probably shouldn't have included this part to begin with. If you look at the Wraith design, it does have a red optic sight, but it is more raised above the target. It's a rectangle for a start, not a circle, and also is like quite small, so having a massive part that kind of detracts from the turret sleekness is a little bit odd, in my opinion, and it is a nice part that you can actually just remove and still happily have an effective Wraith replica. Taking a look at the display stand that the Wraith plugs into, literally just plugs in up top here with a little pin. Um, the pin does have a pivot joint on it as well, so you can even angle the ship once it's positioned. It is just a basic uh, display rod with a just a typical medium-sized base plate. Not really attractive in a sense, but it does the job perfectly. I am really glad it's been included because as I keep highlighting, a lot of these sets usually don't come with display stands. So it's good that this is starting to be corrected. And the drone itself is quite um, cumbersome in terms of trying to stand it on its own because of the bent wings and the turrets hanging off it. So it's good that they've given us a display option that doesn't potentially damage parts. It just does sit happily uh, suspended. Really nice piece. I'm glad they've included it, as I say. So again, another bonus for this set in my opinion. Taking a closer look at the figures, and we'll uh, start off with my favourite, which is this guy here. Uh, this is the armour and costume featured on the Black Ops 3 box art. Uh, it includes a nice new sculpted combat vest, a new helmet. I thought this would be a repaint of the Advanced Warfare ones from last year, but it is actually a new sculpt, so I'm glad that Mega have done that. It, they could have got away with trying to be cheap, but they've really gone an extra mile to include new sculpted features. 
You also get entirely new sculpted arms that have like detail running along them, all little armor plates and that. It's a bit of a shame that they're not painted as they do kind of blend in, but it's still a nice feature and nice angular parts as well that just show off that it's a bit more armored than your normal Call of Duty figure. The pouch and grenade, however, are from the Advanced Warfare line, but the pistols are entirely new. These, again, are from Black Ops 3. Uh, you get two of them for this figure, and I absolutely love them. They're really nice dual-wieldable weapons, really highly detailed, and I just, I really like this figure. It just really stands out for me. The nice silver paint on the chest is a nice addition with the 06 number plate on there as well. He also has that printed on his arm there. But so, it's just a really detailed figure. So taking a close look at the second figure from this set, it does reuse a lot of parts from the first figure in terms of the uh, chest, the armor plates, the combat vest, but it does have a nice new painted helmet with a nice painted visor there as you can see, along with the uh, shotgun weapon from the Advanced Warfare line from last year. It is a reuse of that weapon that was in those sets last year. Um, it, but it still works here, it looks like a nice kind of shotgun railgun kind of mix weapon. So it really works for the Call of Duty Black Ops vibe. I really do like it. And again, it's another figure to this set that they didn't really have to include. A lot of sets this size usually only have one figure, so it's good that they've included two. As you can have them versus each other. So it's a nice starter set for the Black Ops 3 line. I do hope we see some Black Ops 3 troop packs and whatnot in the future. But it's a nice start that we can already do like a versus scene if we wish. So overall here, you're getting a fantastic set. It's a nice up-to-date set because it's from Black Ops 3. You're getting a great vehicle drone here. You get two great figures, some fantastic new weapons and sculpted armor. A nice display stand that a lot of flying vehicles don't actually get. Absolutely great set, no complaints. I highly recommend this set. I'm not the biggest Black Ops 3 fan. Um, I like the campaign, but I'm not big on the multiplayer yet. Um, but this is just a fantastic set to add to your collection. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be reviewing more Call of Duty, Halo and Assassin's Creed sets in the coming future. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!